Okay, so this is the second uh, video. I got cut off, sorry about that. Okay, the back wall is very boring. This we're gonna call the north side of the building. Okay, it is a rectangular building. So the north and the south should be the same. Sorry, I lost my page in my book. I only have one hand. <laughs> and it's raining. <laughs> All right, so what's the north side? The north side is also 26 feet long, okay? And the soffit that overhangs it, you can draw it the same way as uh, you did on the other side, okay? We'll get the whole height after, okay? Just one more side. There is no windows or doors that is totally cinder block okay which is an awful insulator okay the last side of the building the last side of the building is called the west side okay so the west side has the same height as the rest of the building obviously okay the total length of the west side along that wall on the bottom is 18.2 inches okay all right what is the roll-up door the roll-up door is 6.2 feet across and has a length of 6.1 feet. So the height of it is 6.1 and the length is 6.2. Okay, it doesn't really look like that to me. Let me see if I got that right. 6.2, yeah, versus 6.1, okay? So it's almost a square, interestingly enough. It doesn't really come across as a square, but uh, I guess it's it, it's a square. Okay, it looks a little more rectangular to me. But we're gonna go with the numbers that we have here. 6.2 feet wide, six, excuse me, 6.1 feet wide, and 6.2 feet tall, okay? All right, how far is the roll-up door from the left-hand wall? It is 6.1 feet from there. So to place the, um, uh, to place the roll-up door correctly in the middle of that wall, you need to go over from the left-hand side 6.1 feet. Okay, last dimension before I give you the height of the whole building. The last dimension is from the roll-up door to the right-hand side of the west side wall. That is 5.9 feet. So basically, the roll-up door is centered on the west side wall. Okay, next question. How tall is the building, okay? Well, the building really has two parts in terms of height. Let's do the height along the front, okay? We're gonna assume, even though we know that there's some soil piled up in the back, we're not gonna take that into consideration. We're gonna assume the building has the same height all the way across. So, the cinder portion, okay? The cinder portion is exactly eight feet high, okay? So the part with the cinder is eight feet, Okay, and then above that, the soffit is 2.2 feet. Okay, so you have eight feet followed by 2.2. So the total height of the building, when you look at it, is going to be 10.2 uh, feet tall. Okay, all right, let's go around the back again. I wanna show you a couple of things. Okay, so the first thing is, Along that back side, which we call the north side, that soffit doesn't really go all the way across. You really just have a flat roof, and you can say that that height of the roof is six inches, okay? So above the eight feet on the back side, don't put that sort of fake soffit that goes all the way around. See that? That's 2.2 feet high. Just for the back side, just put um, a six inch cap on it, okay? So basically, the height of the whole building, because the soffit really isn't included, right? If you wanna get the volume inside, the height of the whole building is the eight feet for the cinder and the other six inches for the cap that makes the wall. So eight feet, six inches is gonna be the height of the building. Now, the inside space, right? The inside space that we need to heat then is gonna be the length of the building times the width of the building times the height of the building. So when you wanna calculate the volume, you're gonna need those three numbers, use a height, okay, 
use a height of 8.5 feet. Okay? All right, last thing I'm going to show you before I give you the general perspective is what kind of heating system do we currently have for the building? So we installed this ourselves, okay? It is a very efficient way to heat a small building, okay? This um, is called a heat pump, okay? So in the winter time, this system, like it's running right now, works opposite to an air conditioning system, okay? Works opposite to an air conditioning system. So instead of doing the compressing of the air, of, excuse me, the compressing of the working fluid inside, excuse me, outside the building and the expanding inside like an air conditioner works, this is gonna do the opposite. So I'm gonna go over and feel if this uh, device is hot or cold, okay? And I'm going to assume that it, if it's working correctly, it should be colder than the uh, than the outside air. So I'm gonna let you know what I feel because what it's doing right now, okay, is it's pumping or taking heat that's in the air that's on the outside, in the outside world, even though it's colder than the air that's in the inside, and it's using the heat that's in this uh, atmospheric air to keep the building warm. So it just cut off. I'm gonna go feel how it is. So you can see the name of the company on it. Okay, so you can we can look up the name. M-I-D-E-A, Medea. Okay, so it should feel cold to me. Like your air conditioning, com ooh, very cold, okay? Your air conditioning compressor in the summertime behind your house is boiling hot because the function of the air conditioning compressor is to pull heat from your house and that's how come your house gets colder. Well, when the heat pump is working in the winter time, like it is here, its job is to pull heat out of the air and the outside, even though it's colder, and bring it into the house, okay? So we'll talk about how that works in different portions of the semester. So this building is heated with a heat pump and when we do our calculations, we're gonna say the heat pump is 200% efficient. And you're like, what? How can anything be more than 100% efficient? It's 200% efficient because the amount, it's not trying to make energy, it's trying to just simply move energy from the outside in. So for every watt of energy that it takes to run this device, you're able to dump two watts, okay? You're able to dump, um, uh, two watts of energy into the building. So that's how you get the 200% efficiency. Again, you're not creating energy out of nowhere, you're just using electricity to pull air, oh, it's not air, okay, to pull heat from the outside to the inside, even though it's colder outside, okay? So it has a heat pump system, okay? All right, I'm gonna take one more scan around, and then when we work on this in class, you can ask me any questions and I'll give you the dimensions, okay? So where are we right now? I'm going towards the uh, softball field. See that little hill in there? We're gonna leave that out. We're gonna pretend it's on flat ground. Okay. This we called the east side, right? Or the east wall. Looks like that. I'll get a nice perspective of the east wall one more time. coming around towards the south wall. Right now, I'm on the corner of the south and the east wall. So if I'm looking straight at that, I'm looking straight north, okay? Here's the south side. Take a step back. Right, you guys can ignore this little indentation there used to be a phone booth in there. Imagine that, back in the day, okay? Used to be a phone booth in that little spot, but we don't need phone booths anymore. And come around over here. This was the west side, the side with the roll-up gate, okay? Remember, that's a sign of, that top purple thing is kind of a fake wall. It goes up to 0.2 feet, I think I said. I can look at it again, hold on. Well, let's for now well, let's say 2.2 feet but behind it really is empty space the roof of the building is only the first six inches up that little purple piece and you can see that when you come over here so we're saying we have a 10 foot 2 building 
okay so coming around over here you can see that the soffit is kind of a false roof right kind of like a billboard or something like that it's just for show okay and it only goes around three sides of the building they didn't finish it off on this side okay this is a flat roof so it's gonna make our calculation very easy what's the roof uh, material on the top um, it is uh, asphalt um, uh, rollout um, material so we can find the R value for that okay what's the building made out of the building is made out of cinder blocks with no insulation so this is a very wasteful building that's why we don't really use it much and it's also very small okay all right two windows two doors and we're gonna have to account for those okay I'm signing off now we'll see you guys in class